So that naturally leads to a question that I get often when I talk about add frame script, which is um, how might I be able to actually use frame labels instead of frame numbers to work with add frame script? So for instance, let's say you've designed a custom, uh, I'm sorry, you've programmed a custom button uh, that has custom tweens for rollover and rollout and all of that depends on on frame labels to work properly and you give it to your designer and you want your designer to be able to have the flexibility to be able to uh, change the timing of these animations so you know what may have been frame 10 when you send it to him may not be frame 10 anymore so frame labels give you a nice way to work around that but how would you work with frame labels with add frame script and the way you do that is by accessing the property of movie clips called current labels. Current labels is an array of frame label objects. So each frame label has a name and a frame. So it's just a custom data object and it has two pieces of data in it. The name, which is the name of the frame label, and the frame, which is the frame number of the frame label. Now these frame numbers are one based not zero based just to point out because remember add frame script is zero based so in this example um, I'm going to create an array called a labels off of the current labels of the movie clip called MC so all of the labels in this movie clip timeline will now be an array of frame labels uh, called a labels so I'm going to loop through a labels with a for each loop and I'm going to trace the name and the frame number of that frame. And that's a good place to start. We'll come back to the rest of this code. So if we go to add scripts to frames working with frame labels, I'll open up current labels sample and I'm actually going to comment out line 13. So all we're going to do is um, create an array off of the current labels of the movie clip called MC and then for each entry in that array, for each frame label in that array, we're going to trace out the name and the frame number. So the movie clip is running and looping of course but we have four frame labels we have a frame labeled start, which is at frame 1, a frame labeled halfway there, which is at frame 12, a frame labeled there, which is at frame 22, and a frame labeled halfway back, which is at frame number 39. And we can see that this is all true if we double click on that movie clip and we'll see that those labels exist on that timeline. at the exact frame numbers uh, that our output window says. So that's how you can recognize the frame labels of a movie clip through code. So if we go back to our code on the actions layer, we'll see that we can now combine this ability of recognizing the frame labels with what we just learned to add frame script. So for each frame label that we get out of MC, we're going to add a frame script. Now the gimmick here is that it's the frame number minus one because remember add frame script takes zero based and frame labels are one based. And so every time we hit a named frame we're going to run stop me. And what stop me does is it tells the movie clip to stop. It'll also run a trace saying what stop, uh, what frame we're stopping at. Now in this FLA, I've also put a listener on the stage for the mouse down event, which will tell MC to play. And that's how we can uh, resume uh, the playback of the movie clip, so that it'll stop at the first frame label, so we can click the stage, it'll resume, and it'll stop at the next frame label. So it stopped at frame 1. So I'm going to remove the output panel. And now I'm going to click somewhere on the stage. And so movie clip MC played, and now it's stopped at frame 12, which was the next named frame. If I hit the stage again, stopped at frame 22. Back at 39, and then finally at frame 1. And so by mixing current labels with add frame script, 
you can apply code dynamically to your timelines based off of frames that are identified with labels in the FLA, which is really the final, it's the missing link, the final step that you need in order to move all of your code out of the FLAs and into external class files. And again, I think you'll find that ActionScript 3, even if you're someone who's, who's intimidated by, by classes, um, ActionScript 3 makes you want to start coding better, and it makes you want to start exploiting the powers that are available when you start coding in classes. And uh, at Almer Blank, um, uh, we are now at the point where all of our FLAs have absolutely no code in them. Um, and uh, because that just makes it that much easier uh, to work um, on, on higher level applications uh, in a team based environment. Um, and that would be impossible without Add Frame Script. You could get 90%, 95% of the way there, but there's no way around putting a stop action on frame 10. And so you need Add Frame Script to be able to do that.